CBS News is investigating the water crisis in Mississippi's capital city, which is home to 150,000 people. Jackson was left with no running water for days after flooding in August caused a water plant to fail. Our investigation has been digging into one big decision about a decade ago that was supposed to help prevent this kind of situation. Jackson signed a $90 million contract with the international company Siemens that promised revenue to rebuild the city's crumbling water system. Instead, the city is struggling just to keep the water flowing. Our CBS News chief investigative correspondent Jim Axelrod has the story. Jim, what'd you find? Good morning. I found that it's 2022. Imagine this, a state capital city in America had no running water at all. Not for an hour, not for an overnight, but for nearly a week. That's what Jackson, Mississippi faced last month, leaving the city's most vulnerable desperate. Our facility had absolutely no water. We were at zero water pressure. Sydney Howard manages the Hope Lodge in Jackson where the American Cancer Society puts up patients at no cost while they're being treated. When I walked in here to see that that gauge was at a zero, it's what do you do? Last month, when the city's water system failed, Howard had to scramble to evacuate 11 cancer patients to facilities where the taps and toilets actually worked. Did you have 30 seconds to think, what is going on in Jackson, Mississippi, where the Hope Lodge doesn't have water? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I'm here to take care of lives and save lives. At the end of August, floods drowned Jackson's aging water treatment plant, crippling the system across the city. Faucets ran with colors you never want to see, and the people of Jackson rushed frantically to find whatever was fresh enough to drink. We do not have reliable running water at scale. It was exactly the kind of crisis the city hoped to avert a decade earlier when it made a deal with the Siemens Corporation. It was ridiculous to even support. DeKeither Stamps was elected to the Jackson City Council the same year the city signed the contract with Siemens, which he opposed. What went wrong? Everything. Everything went wrong. Siemens came to Jackson with a promise to upgrade the city's water system. The upgrades would generate enough revenue, they said, to make Jackson's water system sustainable for years to come. All the commercial meters are in stock with the city. Other cities typically paid for projects like this with a cut of the money saved on the back end. But Jackson agreed to pay the full cost for those promises up front. The city took out a loan for $90 million. Did Siemens keep those promises? No. The biggest piece of the plan, replacing water meters across the city, was also the source of the biggest problem. Thousands of the new meters didn't work. Some meters measuring in gallons when they were supposed to be measuring in cubic feet. Meaning people in Jackson were being charged as much as seven and a half times what they should have been. Throw in computer systems that didn't operate as promised. The bill was more than $11,000. And people in this largely African-American city with a per capita income of $22,000 were suddenly facing water bills they had no hope of paying. It's a done deal now, and we the one got the better cost. The city sued Siemens and some subcontractors, alleging in part a massive fraud orchestrated by Siemens that caused more than $450 million in losses to Jackson. Promise made, promise kept. The mayor claimed victory when Siemens and the subcontractors settled, even though they did not admit wrongdoing. Siemens essentially paid back the $90 million. The company sent us a short statement saying the agreement settled the issue and the project did not end as either party hoped. Is it fair to assume that made the city whole? Oh no, even that was a sham job. After the law firm took a $30 million cut and tens of millions more went to pay back loans needed to keep the water running, the city did not have nearly enough to fund the much needed repairs. According to this city audit, Jackson will be paying back millions on the Siemens deal at 6% interest until the year 2040. Sad. Sometimes I got to laugh to keep them crying. 
There are just lots of problems in the city of Jackson. Michael Regan runs the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in Washington. As it relates to Siemens and the water meters and the billing, we understand that that's a part of the problem. Regan has traveled twice to Jackson in the last month as he focuses on cities where he says chronic underinvestment has led to infrastructure problems. How many other Jacksons exist in our country right now? Dozens, uh, if not more. When you look at the data, black and brown communities and low-income communities have been disproportionately impacted by environmental hazard and harm because of a lack of investment. So Jackson's water is back up and running again for now. But as for solutions, now it's up to the city, the state of Mississippi, and even the federal government to find a way forward. But some estimates put the total price tag for fixing Jackson's water system at $1 billion. Wow. This is so wrong on so many levels. And when you ask the question, how many other Jacksons? Never happens in places like Greenwich or Beverly mm. Hills. Never happens in those kind of places. But we are going to find and shine the light on other places where it does happen and continuing to press for answers. And even Siemens' answer, is that enough under these circumstances? We don't admit any wrongdoing. Yeah. And the project, we do admit the project didn't work out as either party No kidding. Helped. Yeah, no doubt about it. Jim, thank you so much.